Let's now bring you the updates from Pune, where heavy rains have lashed across the city, taking the total deaths toll to 12 now within 24 hours. Five people, including a child, were killed in an incident of wall collapse in Sahakarnagar area. Increased water levels in a drain in Kher Shivpur washed away five people. Of them, three are dead now and two others still untraced. Another person died after drowning in a canal near Singhabad. Now, as heavy rains uh, batter Pune, several parts of the city are currently waterlogged. Schools and colleges remain shut. Well, so that's the information we have uh, from Pune at the moment. Uh, Rain-related uh, incidents have caused at least 12 deaths so far within the last 24 hours. In fact, the death toll has reached 12. The IMD has now forecasted thunderstorm in certain parts of Maharashtra. Heavy rainfall has led to an increase in water levels in the Nazare Dam, which could lead to severe flooding in Baramati. As a precautionary measure, three NDRF teams have been deployed in Baramati. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis uh, puts out a tweet extending his condolences to the flood victims in Pune and assured all possible assistance. Well, so that's the statement coming in from the Chief Minister. Remember, the fatalities in Pune has now reached 12. Some, uh, of course, deaths occurred because uh, of a collapse of a wall that took five lives and the other deaths have occurred because of drowning. Uh, the last one uh, that we, we just reported was a case of drowning in a canal. Let me get in Disha, who has more information on this. Disha, uh, of course, uh, we are looking at pictures coming in from Pune. It seems uh, rain-related incidents have caused a number of uh, fatalities. Tell us what's the situation on ground, please. Well, uh, absolutely, Afida. What we know for the fact that 12 people have been killed in rain-related incidents in Pune and also in outskirts, if you talk about rural Pune for that matter, after heavy downpour lashed the city since last Wednesday night. Uh, we know for the fact right now the rainfall has stopped in the early morning hours on Thursday, but uh, of course it has uh, the repercussions on the ground level because property has been destroyed especially uh, and even uh, cars have been damaged uh, in many low-lying areas like Purandar, Ghor, Baramati and Haveli, for also for that matter, Kataraj continues to be the worst affected area in the city of Pune is what we are being told. And uh, the information that we are receiving from the district collector is the fact that 14,000 people have been rescued from these low-lying areas uh, by the NDRF teams in concern and they have been sent to the safer locations uh, because uh, as according to the IMD, uh, uh, heavy rainfall is expected until 27th of September. Uh, so keeping in mind uh, that precautionary measures have been taken uh, by the teams in concern, we also know for the fact that rescue teams have recovered the bodies from three different areas of the city of Rida. Uh, okay. Six bodies were recovered from uh, the Aranyeshwar area. Uh, where the wall had uh, collapsed. Uh, what we also know for the fact that three people are still missing from the incident. Uh, the other two bodies, uh, the other two or two, three bodies have been uh, found in uh, different uh, situations is what we understand. And water overflowing from a nearby canal caused the wall to collapse. So this was the uh, situation which took place last evening. Mm -hmm. uh, right now what we are being told uh, that the NDR, there are two to four NDRF teams that uh, that is in Pune and uh, one is in Baramati for that matter. One is already on the way to Baramati because more teams are uh, being deployed and sent to these affected areas is what we understand. Right. So this is perhaps, uh, you know, one uh, such occasion where the city has seen the most devastating floods uh, for the death toll to reach 12 within a span of 24 hours. Disha is quite alarming. Are, is enough being done at the moment in terms of preventive measures to restrict the damage and to prevent further casualties? Well, uh, that's right. So uh, I was mentioning about that how 14,000 people have huge uh, from these low-lying areas in concern, Afrida, because uh, uh, these low-lying areas are situated uh, especially uh, in and around Satraj areas, uh, also the camp, Kothrood, all of these are the three areas which have been worst affected in Pune itself, and people have been rescued because uh, there has been an excessive release of water from the dams in concern, which has caused uh, this kind of uh, uh, situation in Pune, and we have seen that in in less than two months, this is the second uh, such a flood sort of situation happening in Pune is what we understand. Uh, water 
indeed has uh, entered homes and residential areas the societies also for that matter especially in the kataraj area is what we are being told cars right. have been damaged the property also has uh, uh, been disrupted in fact uh, afida what we know for the fact in certain areas residential areas electricity also has been disrupted for the last 24 hours there's no electricity as well hmm. however the rain has stopped at the moment uh, on thursday uh, but uh, of course uh, there the rescue operations are still underway in most okay so like power areas. outages disruption in essential supplies communication breakdown these are the things that people are coping with at the moment in pune thanks very much disha for joining us with your inputs